Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my showcase series. This time it is episode 78, and today I will be showcasing the Detective Comics key issue comic books in my personal collection. I've amassed quite a few keys over the years, guys, some real big hitters. Hope you enjoy the show. But before we continue, if I could perhaps ask you for a subscription, a like, a share, a comment, ding that bell for notifications, it all really helps my low grade productions. Okay, starting off, the Detective Showcase is the big boy book, Detective Comics issue 27. But guys, this is the reprint, <laughs> as we all know, the Millennium Edition reprint, which actually goes for over 30 quid on a good day. I paid just three quid for this in one of the local antique centers in the middle of 2019. Obviously the first appearance of Batman and Commissioner Gordon and amongst others. One day I'll find the real McCoy at a car boot, I reckon. Up next is my earliest volume one Detective Comics key. And it's a nice one guys, and a nice presenting book. This book, easily over 200 quid in this kind of grade, but I got a steal of a price. A character that appeared in the second Suicide Squad movie played by David Dalmantian. Love the character. This is Detective Comics issue 300, guys. And the first appearance of the Polka Dot Man, Abner Krill. It's also the last Aquaman backup story in Detective Comics. And Aquaman backup stories continue in World's Finest, beginning with issue 125 from May of 1962. The colours really pop on this book, guys. I actually picked this up on eBay in December of 2019. Um, just after the Suicide Squad lineup was announced, I believe. And I only ended up paying £24.44 because it was a seller from Germany. And I jumped at it. And uh, one of my favourite books in my collection now, actually. I am not shy when it comes to coverless books, especially when it's a decent key. I only paid £2.60 for this. Got a feeling we'll see this character on the screen at some point. This is Detective Comics issue 311 and the first appearance and origin of Catman, Thomas Reese Blake. And uh, like I say, I will upgrade at some point, but for £2.60, I can't leave the book there. This is a character I believe that appeared in animated form. I'm not sure whether this character appeared in the Bat uh, Woman Arrowverse show as well. I think he did. This is a nice pickup. I don't pick up many books on eBay anymore, but I picked this one up in December of last year for £20.98. I picked up Detective Comics issue 345. And this is the first appearance of blockbuster Mark Desmond. I think he has ties to the spoiler, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a character that I certainly remember from the Batman the Brave and the Bold animated show. This is uh, another nice purple cover. Detective Comics issue 351. And this is the first appearance of Clue Master Arthur Brown. £11.90 for that. eBay again, middle of 2019. Moving on. Low grade, beat but complete. Picked this one up at Carbu in early 2016 for just three quid. I love this cover. One of my favourite covers. This is Detective Comics issue 371, guys. And this is the first appearance of the Batmobile from the Batman Adam West TV show. But look at this cover, guys. Batgirl, get over here. Help us. We've got a problem. I have a bigger one. I run in my tights. Just hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. She's letting them get beaten up. And uh, it's all about the tights. This one I picked up due to the supposed Batgirl movie. You know, Brendan Fraser was playing the lead villain. But uh, it never saw the light of day. But this character was apparently in it. Uh, again, beat but almost complete. It's missing the back cover. But I only paid £1 for this. This is Detective Comics issue 392. And this is the first appearance of Jason Bard, a cop who at one point developed a relationship with Barbara Gordon. Hence, um, the character was in the background movie. 
I saw the trailer for it. Uh, I was up in the air, but uh, on the fence about it a little bit. This is another recent pickup. Uh, I paid £10 for this one in the middle of last year at a local gaming and collectibles shop here in Gloucester. Uh, like I say, 10 quid picked up some great keys, and you'll see another one in a minute. This is Detective Comics issue 392, guys. And this is the first appearance of Arthur Reeves. Now, Arthur Reeves was the villain in the Mask of the Phantasm animated movie, I believe. So, uh, yeah, nice presenting, but mid-grade, 10 quid. They've appeared on screen. They're going into my collection. I had this book, but my book was a, probably a 1.8 at best, so I sold that off, made good profit. But this book is a lovely presenting copy. What do I rate it at? Around about a 5.5 .5 to a 6.0, 10 quid. Same time I picked up that previous book, I picked up, yeah, Detective Comics issue 400. This is a lovely book. First appearance and origin of Man Bat, Robert Kirkland Langstrom. Um, I'd love to see Man Bat in live action at some point. I've got a feeling we will. This is uh, also the first Bat Girl and Robin team up. And it's an anniversary, obviously, issue 400. 10 quid for that one in this grade, easily over a hundred pounds. Great character, man, but. And then I also picked up this book, um, that same uh, collection that I picked up. This is Detective Comics issue 401. Very next issue, the second team up of Batgirl and Robin. And a fantastic Neil Adams cover. Although he only did the pencils. 10 quid for that one. Nice key next. Love this book. What did I pay for this one? Actually, it was a gift from my wife from Christmas uh, of 2019. But she effectively paid £27.90, which is a steal. This is Detective Comics issue. 411 guys and this is the first appearance of Talia Head aka Talia Al Ghul the daughter of Raz Al Ghul saw her in the Dark Knight Rises movie the Legends of Tomorrow TV show and probably most recently the Gotham TV show which I was a massive fan of up next uh, a character that appeared in the Gotham TV show Really enjoyed the character as well. Paid five pound and three pence for Detective Comics issue 457. And this is the first appearance of Dr. Leslie Tompkins. Leslie uh, Marine Tompkins, a cl close friend of the West, oh, oh, sorry, of the West, of the Wayne family. She was the love interest of Jim Gordon in the Gotham TV show, went on to become somewhat of an anti hero or villain. I guess this one I had to pick up because I like the character in the Arrow TV show. This is Detective Comics issue 463. I know Bronzeville Comics goes on about this one quite a bit because he uh, is a maths teacher. This is the first appearance of the calculator, Noah Cutler. And it's also the first appearance of Black Spider, Eric Needham. £8.42 for that one in November of last year at the Birmingham Con. This one's getting talked up a bit. I think this could be something to do with the net upcoming Creature Commandos uh, animated show, if I'm not mistaken. This is Detective Comics it's issue 469, getting a bit of love recently. This is the first appearance and origin of Dr. Phosphorus Alexander. Uh, Sartorius, a villain who is uh, perpetually on fire after being exposed to massive amounts of radiation. It's also the first appearance of Rupert Thorne, a corrupt, corrupt, sorry, politician. Seven pound fifty for that one. November two thousand and twenty-one, Birmingham Con. Moving on, this is uh, a nice thirty-five cent minor key. Detective Comics issue 478, guys. And this is the first appearance of the third Clayface, Preston Payne. 
Uh, we've seen him in animated form, I believe. £7.50 for that. Birmingham Con of 2017. Up next is a character that was in my encyclopedia. I think this character has appeared in the Batwoman TV show as well. This is Detective Comics issue 501. First appearance of Julia uh, Remarque, a.k.a. Julia Pennyworth, the daughter of Alfred and Mademoiselle uh, Marie. New stand copy. And uh, happy doing that one for four quid. To go with that. I also have the direct edition that uh, I paid £4.54 for. Moving on, we have Detective Comics issue 521. First appearance of High Tech. Um, and this is where, because I'm a big Green Arrow fan, this is where Green Arrow backup stories begin in Detective Comics. 10 quid for that one. Orbital Comics, which I enjoyed while I was down in London. Apparently that has now closed down. Pick that up back in the 2016. Next is a nice little key. This is a 60 center, uh, and this is Detective Comics issue 523. And uh, 13 quid I played for this one. Uh, back end of 2017 at the Gloucester Comic Con. First appearance of Killer Croc. Yes, uh, Waylon Jones, who appeared in the first Suicide Squad movie. Pretty major villain when it comes to Batman. Uh, this was published one month before Batman issue 357, guys. Moving on. The character in my encyclopedia. This book is hard to find. I've only found a beat up copy. Detective Comics issue 546. The first appearance of uh, Onyx. Who was Onyx Adams. £2.50 for that. Bring them calm. 2019. Oh, up next we've got a nice uh, classic cover a recent pickup detective comics issue 566 classic cover art by dick giordano uh, featuring batman's rogue gallery two quid for that worcester february 2022 i've had several copies of this one i believe the characters are being talked up for the next uh, robert pattinson batman movie Undervalued key, in my opinion, Detective Comics issue 583, guys. And this is the first appearance of Scarface and Van Ventriloquist. Arnold Wesker uh, also appeared in the Titans TV show brief and briefly. Uh, first appearance of Scarface, it was Scarelia, Arnold Wesker. Um, first appearance of the Rhino, Frederick Rhino. Three quid for that Worcester, same day that I picked the previous issue up. And uh, this one is a another decent minor key that character that appeared in the Suicide Squad movie, the second one, rumored to be getting her own show at some point. This is Detective Comics issue 585, and his first appearance of Ratcatcher. Now, obviously, Ratcatcher was uh, gender swapped for the movie, but Ratcatcher is Otis Flanagan in this issue, and this one is signed. I don't know if you can make out the signature in the by me firm there but it is signed by um the writer john wagner and john wagner is seeming to be there look at the con so that was pretty neat and i uh but there's got, got a little bit of um tape pull on the top corner so i recently upgraded and got that one for one pound 88 definitely deals to be done on that but uh this one's undervalued as well as I think. This is Detective Comics issue 599. First appearance of Henry Ducard. And of course, uh, Liam Neeson's Razzle Gore went by the title of Henry Ducard in the Batman Begins movie. One pound for that one. Local Antique Centre. That was an early pickup from 2019. Up next, I sold one of these recently. This is Detective Comics issue 608. First appearance of Anarchy, Lonnie Macklin, uh, uh, or Matin, who appeared in the Arrow TV show. Uh, 96 pence for that one. Collectomania, Calm, Birmingham again, last year. Moving on, Detective Comics issue 609. Second appearance of Anarchy. I like the character. 
Detective Comics issue 626. First uh, unidentified appearance of the electrocutioner who appeared in the Gotham TV show. Pound r r Books in Stroud. Uh, that was November 2015. Up next, I spoke about this character uh, with connections to Blockbuster. This is Detective Comics issue 647. You can always make good coin on this book. This is my nicest copy I paid 10 quid for. But I've found of several for a pound or a two. First appearance of the spoiler, Stephanie Brown. And uh, I think the spoiler was in the Batwoman TV show. Moving on, we have Detective Comics issue 665. And this is the first appearance of Tony Bressy, a mobster. Uh, Tony Pressy uh, appeared in the Batgirl movie that we're unlikely to see now. £2.50 for that one. But uh, that book was hot for a while. Didn't even realise I had that one. Detective Comics issue 685 is next. And this is the first appearance of the Silver Monkey. £2.50 for that one. Middle of 2017. Up next, we've got another signed book. This is Detective Comics issue 691. And this is the first appearance of the third spellbinder, Faye uh, Moffat. This one is signed, as you can see at the top there, in gold, by Staz Johnson, who was the penciler. And uh, I'd like to just show off my photos, don't I? There is me and Staz Johnson. Look at the hair on Staz. Glorious. Yeah, whenever I get a book signed, uh, I like to get a photo with the artist or creator if I can. Just something nice to look back on. Then up next we have Detective Comics issue 735. And uh, this is the first appearance of Mercy Graves. Mercedes Graves uh, in continuity. Obviously she appears in the um, Superman Adventures book first, which I own. Uh, saw her in the Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice movie, the Supergirl TV show, to name but a couple of live action appearances. I think she appeared in the Titans show as well. Uh, then moving on, we have Detective Comics. Uh, this is issue 743. This one uh, got quite hot for a while uh, because of the Batwoman TV show. This is the first appearance of Whisper Adair, a loyal agent in the... Uh, Employment of Ra's al Ghul. So was the first appearance of Kyle Abbott, Whisper's bodyguard, who is also a shapeshifter. £3.29 for that one. eBay. Then we have Detective Comics, issue 751. And this is the first appearance of Sasha Bordeaux. That's a character in my uh, encyclopedia that I had to track down. This one's a little undervalued in my opinion. This is Detective Comics issue 783. And this is the first appearance of Nissa uh, Rakow, oh sorry, Rax, uh, daughter of Raz al Ghul. So Nissa al Ghul effectively. Uh, she appeared in the Arrowverse. £6.68 for that one. Moving on, we've got Detective Comics, issue 827. And this is the first appearance of the second ventriloquist, Peyton Riley. And the first appearance of Knox Left-Handed. He was uh, actually Batman, Bruce Wayne. Uh, got that, one of the first ever books I picked up in the back end of 2015 from one of my bosses at work. Uh, to go with that one, I ha also uh, picked up Detective Comics issue 823. What a cover that is. First appearance on and origin of Harvest. Up next we have Decent Book, Detective Comics issue 850. First team up of Catwoman, Harlequin and Poison Ivy, who later would form the Gotham City Sirens. £3.60 for that. I actually picked this up while I was at the Edinburgh Comedy Festival in the middle of 2019 at a little Scottish shop called Deadhead Comics. Picked up three of those that day, I think. 
Uh, and then the character I quite enjoyed in the Batwoman TV show. We have Detective Comics issue 854. First appearance of Alice Elizabeth Kane, the sister of Bat uh, Woman in the show. First appearance of Colonel Kane, who was Jake Kane, her father, that also was in the show. This is the uh, regular J.H. Williams cover. 5 for that one on eBay, but I've had uh, two or three of these. I think I've got one for sale at the moment. I include this one as well, but this was a gift from uh, Lyric Magic Moments, one of my mates in the community. This is the reprinting of the first chapter of Batwoman's Epic Clash with the Religion of Crime. So uh, the Dollar Comics reprint of the first appearance of Alice. Let me jump up to Detective Comics issue 983. And this is the first appearance, or first cameo, but appearance rather, of Karma. £2.75, Proud Lion and Shot. Um, middle of 2018. Then we have issue 984. First full appearance of Karma, who is actually Fleet Delmar. This is a, a Eddie Burrows and Ebner Ferreira cover. Two quid for that one, Planet All Stars. And then we jump up to issue 1001. Got a few of these. First full appearance of Arkham Knight in continuity. Brad Walker and Andrew Hennessy cover. £3.60 for that on eBay. Early 2019. Issue 1003. The identity of the Arkham Knight is revealed as Astrid Arkham. 360 for that issue 1034 guys the first cameo appearance of flatline on a tv monitor first mention of the league of lazarus dan mora cover and that wraps up volume one of detective comics then just three issues from the second volume we have detective comics issue number one first appearance of the doll maker barton mathis who appeared in the arrow tv show Two quid for that one. That was a little event in Cheltenham. Actually, it might have been a charity shop. Uh, Detective Comics issue number six is the first appearance of Mr. Toxic, Hugh Marder. First appearance of it, Hypnotic. And uh, first appearance of an Imperceptible Man. Characters in my encyclopedia. And wrapping it up, guys, is Detective Comics issue 13 and the first appearance of Emperor Penguin, Ignatius Octative. Oh, I can't even say it, but there we go. That wraps it up, guys. Uh, Jason Fabok cover and uh, four quid for that one at Leamington Spa Kong. That's it, guys. All done in under 25 minutes. Thanks for your support. I am still hunting, guys. I've put in together a big haul as we speak, and uh, it'll be out soon. Gotta love some Batman keys, and there'll be plenty more Batmans coming your way soon. Bye for now.